Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this presentation I will make a short introduction on Internet of Things. This is the outline of the presentation. First, I will introduce IoT and describe what kind of task does an IoT device. Then I will provide some background and statistics about the future and market share of IoT applications. Then I will talk about different kind of IoT networks and IoT cloud server typical services. The Internet of Things is a network of physical objects or things. They use embedded electronics to interchange data with other devices or machines. Typically, the type of communication between devices has some constraints about the transfer rate, mostly due to power consumption constraints. As a consequence, there are specialized protocols to transfer data between two machines in IoT applications. We will see these aspects in more details on the second part of this course, but for now it is important for you to know that the type of applications uh, we can deploy uh, with IoT devices such as home automation, intelligent transportation system, home appliances, energy buildings, wearables, etc. An IoT device can lock and uh, collect data, communicate with other devices or machines, or to remotely control a physical variable. We use them to analyze and visualize data which is published, in some cases, in the cloud. Specialized servers that accept this type of data. Internet of Things is growing, and it's growing fast. Indeed, the number of connected devices exceeded our world population in 2008. The term Internet of Things was coined by Kevin Aston in 1999 known as the father of IT. He believed that RFID would be essential to connect individual things. In my opinion, IoT devices are just smart devices, that is, an embedded electronic device that can connect to other devices through Ethernet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and many other technologies. One of the main differences between IoT devices and classic smart devices used in industry using wired industrial networks is that IoT devices are power efficient and the transfer uh, data is oriented so that they use wireless connections to transfer data to other machines with even several kilometers uh, of distance. This plot here shows that IoT devices are clearly growing with an exponential ratio and thus the relevance of knowing how to interact with these devices it is very important nowadays. If we look, uh, or if we look into uh, the market share of different types of IoT applications we clearly see that smart cities, industrial applications, health, smartphones take the biggest part of this share but also intelligent cars wearables, smart appliances are expected to grow. IT devices typically use wireless networks to transmit data. Depending on the application, the distance between the transmitter and receiver can be significantly different and they can make use of wired infrastructure too. In IT network, we can find a one, a wide area network, which transmits data at large ranges using Ethernet or a cellular network, or for medium ranges we use a WLAN, a local network. For short ranges, we generally, uh, they are generally oriented uh, for applications between two machines, we can use a WPAN, a personal network. In this course we will use Wi-Fi connection to access to external servers through our router for WAN connections or to act as a web server in a WLAN so uh, it, it interacts with another device to visualize data for instance or use uh, WPN networks such as Bluetooth connection between our smartphone and our IT device. When an IT device transmits data to an external server this can be visualized because there are many companies offering these services and supporting all transmission protocols used in IoT applications such as MQTT or HTTP. We will talk about that on the second part of this course. There are many options and bar, uh, 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 that varies from server to server 
uh, among all, our, all, uh, all of them, our proposal is to work with Thingsboard. This is an open source platform that offers free services up to a given amount of data. Anyway, all services, they typically offer services for storing data, visualizing data, create a dashboard to manage your devices and many other services such as uh, rule management, security, whole integration, etc. Okay, so in this presentation I have shortly introduced you IoT. So in this first contact with IoT, we have seen the huge potential of this field. Thank you very much.